All right, so this is problem 10.3.43, and it's from accounting section 4. The material is from accounting section 4. And the question asks, in how many ways could 19 people be divided into five groups containing respectively 6, 3, 5, 4, and 1 people in each of the groups? Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're starting with 19 and we're splitting them up into different groups. And you can actually count this in multiple ways, but I'm just going to go in order with the way that they're listing these things. And then I'll also show you another way to do it, just simply so that it, it helps further understanding um, to look at other ways to do this problem. So if we want to choose six people from a group of... 19. This is a combination because the order doesn't matter and um, you know when you have a group of people whether the first person on the group gets chosen first or last it doesn't it doesn't make any difference. We're not assigning titles or anything like that so so these are combinations so the way that we would choose uh, six people the way that we would choose that group is we have 19 people to choose from and then we're choosing six so this would be a combination of 19 taken six at a time. And then what we're going to do to count the remainders is we have to think about how many people are remaining. So in this first grouping, we've already placed six people into a group, which means that we now have actually 13 people left. So when I go to count the next group, which has a grouping of three, I only have 13 people to, to choose from. <clears throat> so to count the group of three, I have a combination of 13 people that I'm now choosing three of them from. And then again, we're going to follow this pattern. So um, we've now placed nine people. And you actually don't have to go back to this. You can just start here. So we've placed three more out of the 13. So there's now 10 left over. And I'm trying to all, uh, choose a group of five next. So that would be a combination of 10 taken five. And then we want to choose a group of four. So there's now, we've placed five from the ten, so there's five left over. So a combination of five, and we're choosing four. And then there's just one person at the end. Okay. So when you do the calculation of that, if you're using your calculator to get those combinations, you should definitely use calculator. It's going to be big. Um, this right here ends up being 27,132. This number right here ends up being 286. This number here, 252. This calculates out to be a 5, and this is a 1. And when we do that product, do all of that, uh, multiply that out, you get this number here. So that's a really big number. That's a million trillion, so that's nine trillion seven hundred and seventy seven million two hundred and eighty seven thousand five hundred and twenty different ways. <laughs> that's a lot. Um, all right, so what I want to show you is uh, another way to calculate this because I think this will help solidify this. A lot of times it's not helpful to look at multiple ways to calculate something. Um, you know a lot of times that's actually more confusing, but in this instance, I think it will um, uh, help the understanding of this problem. All right, so what I'm going to do this time to count it is I'm actually going to count backwards. So let's instead go and take a look at um, dividing up the or divvying out the groups in this order. So I'm going to place one person first, then four, then five, three, and six. Okay. So if I place the first person, at the group of one first, then I'm I have 19 to choose from, and I'm choosing one person. So that would be a combination of 19 taken one. And then I've placed one person in a group, so now <clears throat> I only have 18 people left, and I'm trying to choose the next group, which has a group of four people. And so now there's 14 people left, because I've placed four out of the group of 18, and I'm trying to choose five people from that group of 14. So now there's nine people left, and I'm trying to choose three from the nine, and now there's six people left, so I'm choosing six um, from the six. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the calculation on this as well, because I want to show you that it'll, it'll end up being the same. I didn't calculate this beforehand, so I'm going to have to do it here. I'm not sure if that's showing up on the video or not. Um, all right, so combination of 19 taken 1, this is just 
if you have a calculator like this or um, any any of the scientific calculators should have a button where you can uh, excuse me they should have a button where you can do either a permutation or a combination and so you can just plug in those values and it'll calculate it for you so any combination taken one at a time is just that number so this is 19 let's do 18 taken four at a time so this is 30 60 that's this combination, 18 taken 4 is 30, 60, and then um, 14 taken 5, so 2002, and then 9 taken 3, and that's 84, and then 6 taken 6 is 1. Alright, so let's multiply these together. So we've got 19 times 30, 60, times 2002, times 84. And we end up getting the same really huge number there. Okay, so the point being then that you can count this any way you want. You can start with any of the groups and, and you just diminish the number that you're pulling from because you've already placed some in a group. And then, uh, you know, you'll end up with the same answer no matter how you count this um, as long as you're holding to these principles here. And that's it in this problem.